Hello everyone, I am Defush3004. Welcome back to Citadel Forge with Fire. Thank you for taking the time to hang out with me. I always enjoy hanging out with you. So sit back, relax, enjoy the video, and let's get into some gaming. So I was back at my other base because I went there to stay the night until we could come back to here. And I would like to go over a quick fly through over the base. I flew from down there and I noticed when I came from that portal there that it looked pretty awesome. So let's go ahead and take a quick look. This right here is our base that we're building out here in this area. Kind of out in the middle of the map. And you can see it actually looks really good. I'm actually quite pleased with the way that it looks right now. I think it looks quite good I am happy with it so I guess that's good right so um what I'm thinking is I'm gonna move this like I said back but I want to build some more walls and I'm gonna have to I do have a bit of stone I'm gonna have to get some more soon but I if I can build some more walls back here I don't know what I'm gonna do for doors up here I may have to adjust the walls a little bit on this side make it like a two wide doorway or have two small doors because if I have two big doors here that'll be good and two or a big door here I mean and a big door here that would be good and I would like a big door over that way too so that way I can have like three entrances to get into here and that would be good I thought that was a bear over there it's just a mushroom all right, so what I'm thinking is maybe move this in one more to like over here, right here in this area. You can kind of see where that, there was a red line that I noticed and wherever that was, about not quite where the red line is, but one over here. What is that circle? Is that circle the throne? That's what I would like to know. Because it kind of looks like there is a circle here. This green line right here that you can barely see. And this, this looks like the protection of the throne. So if that is the case, then that's really not a very big area. Because that means that would come out to here and wrap all the way around to back here. And that means everything else is going to be open to destruction. But... Abandoned place thrown to claim. Okay, so this has a floor, but this does not. So maybe what I'm going to have to do is build another outpost thrown here also because this is says abandoned because that is actually quite small. Let's go to C. Let's, uh, nope, 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 build. And let's go to magic. And let's go to here, and let's go to Outpost Throne. If I put one right, this will destroy your old offensive throne, leave the structure pieces abandoned. Okay, well, I don't know. Apparently this place is too big for this, or I don't know how this is going to work. I can only put in one Outpost Throne. And these abandoned places are going to be destroyed. I did not know that. I thought that wasn't going to work out that way. But you can see that green line very clearly right here. So this is a lot smaller area than what I thought. That's not the best. And these things are going to continue to degrade. And I don't know if there's any things in the settings that I can change to make these things not degrade. I really don't know. I would have to go and look. And I may try to look and see. So let me go take a quick check and just see if there is anything that I can do to prevent these things from totally degrading and having to keep them up all the time. So right now I'm at the screen for all the settings and I turned Decay Throne off so that's disabled. It was enabled here but I turned it to disabled and this was set at 1. Structure Decay modifier multiplies 
the rate at which structures lose health over time. So I turned that to 0.1. It was at 1, so I turned that down as low as I can go. You cannot turn it off, so everything will decay no matter what. And I guess I'm just going to have to deal with that. So let's go ahead and get back into our game now. Hopefully that will help the game to not necessarily degrade as fast or the structures and all that, these abandoned ones. And since I'm not able to place another outpost throne, I guess I'm just going to kind of have to deal with that. I was hoping we could place more than one, but uh, as small of a place as that is, that is pretty doggone ridiculous, I do got to say. I mean, it's just a tiny little outpost. I've thought about changing it to the other one, but again, I don't think it's going to do a whole lot of good. So hopefully turning that down, these things will not degrade near as fast, and hopefully that will help. All right, all of that aside, what I'm thinking is I should probably move my throne back, but I'm not going to do that right this minute. First thing I want to do is, like I said, see about the doorway because that's going to be kind of important. And see about putting in some other doorways here. I'd like to build too high. So I guess the first thing I want to do is put in a wall here so I can put in a doorway. Let's go to B. So there we go. Stone walls. Now, looks... Diagonal wall. Oh, nice curved wall. How do you like that? That's awesome. Large curved wall and sloped wall. Just put in a regular straight wall. Let me do that, 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 and that. All right. Then I can come to here for a small door, a small walkway, and a large door. I'm going to need six ingots. And 25 wood. What that means is we're probably going to have to think about building some magic stuff. Not there. Not there. It must be underneath here. So we have to build like the forge, which means we're going to need some rune crystals. And we have to go and get some metal. Okay. Well, it so happens that there happens to be some rune crystals right over here. Let's go ahead and gather these, and then we're going to start building the forge and get that done. So I guess I have a choice to make. I can build stuff over here on this side in this area, and like I said, move, move that dip back a little bit, and try to do that. I can move this throne to like the center here somewhere and try to have part of this protected while the rest of this kind of starts degrading. I thought there was something that I could use to keep this stuff from degrading, but apparently there's not. I've looked through all the things, and so I guess what I'm going to do is, for lack of better ideas, is probably... I'm not too sure. I thought this was going to work out a lot better than it is, but this small throne isn't going to help me out a whole lot. I don't know what the area of the other throne is. I know it's probably going to be quite a bit bigger, but I'm not sure that's going to protect the whole thing. So um, I just got to figure out what I'm going to do. What I was thinking about doing is making this my crafting area, but well, it looks like it may cover... Okay, it doesn't go out to there, but it goes out to here. So basically, right up to this wall is where it covers. And I don't know what I'm going to do yet. I may have to take all of this stuff here and have stuff built up in here. Because that's about the only thing that's going to work. And if so, that's going to kind of disrupt the plans. But if that's the way that it has to be to have stuff not degrade, then... That's kind of the way it has to be. So right out here, it starts going away. And that's right at this wall. What I'm about to do is probably move this and just... How f okay, this is not covered either. Right out here. So right from this wall... Oh, that's crazy. I could move that over, but again, it's going to leave this other side... 
having nothing and I just don't know what I'm gonna do I thought the thing would be a lot better than it is so I am unsure about how I'm gonna exactly make this place because I was hoping it was gonna be better than it is and I don't know how to do it other than I don't know how to upgrade it that's the whole thing so if you have an idea how to keep this stuff upgraded let me know and then I can work on that and I can move this I guess if I'm gonna have to to over there and then that'll have to work and maybe I can take out these walls here and try to move everything you know to like this confined area and try to build a place here because I do not realize it's going to be quite so small this is kind of unfortunate but I guess it is what it is or I can let this slowly degrade over time and take it out and then replace it as I need to which is going to be a pain in the wazaloonie but if that's what I have to do then I guess that's what I have to do all right, what I am going to plan on is, instead of building stuff over there, I am going to come down to here, and I am going to go ahead and put the forge over here on this side. And we'll just plan on putting as much stuff in here as we can. So let's go ahead and do that right there. Okay, we have that. That thing's noisy. And then we can, so the tailoring bench we're going to need, we're also going to need the repair bench, the workbench. We're going to need the cauldron, which we need the forge for. Uh, the mana generator, we can always do things with. The deconstructor, I'm not as worried about. We can just not worry about that for right now. And the repair bench is vital, but we don't have to have that here. Um, a fire pit would be fine. We don't have to get as worried about that. The wood is not that big of a deal. Tame container. Oh, the tame container is already open. Serious? I didn't know the tame container was already open. Well, that's just darn amazing, huh? So we're going to have to get the Flawless Rune Gems and Amethyst Crystal. That's not that big of a deal. We have that back at the place. That's awesome. I did not know that. That's so sweet. Okay, so we have that. Um, tailoring, I'm not going to get as worried about, but we definitely do need stuff to be able to make the iron and all that stuff. Oops. All right, let's go ahead and interact with this. And let's go ahead and make all of these iron ingots while those are being made I'm gonna go ahead and plan on getting some more probably a little bit more wood let's go to see okay we're still very close to wait and let's get one tree and then we'll get some more logs all right I have enough stuff what I can do is go ahead and put in this tailoring bench that would help out quite a bit then we can make some more stuff I would like to see about trying to compact stuff in here if at all possible so maybe what I'll do it isn't gonna make that much difference in all actuality because it isn't gonna change how much room it takes I mean it seems like it is but it's actually gonna take up the same amount of room so let's just go ahead and do it like that all right that's done uh, we are very, very full. As you can see, our weight is... So, let's just go ahead. I'm not going to get too much more weight because I think we'll be okay there, but I'd like to get more damage. Now, what I can do is go ahead and put stuff in here. And let's just go and drop that in there. That's going to help out quite a bit. Now, I can come over here and I can get my iron ingots. Now I can begin making quite a bit more stuff. I do believe that I have arrived at a conclusion and that conclusion is this will not be an outpost throne and where I have my other base down here this base will probably go away and I'll move pretty much everything that is there to here and I'll make this my main base. 
for one reason this one is more centrally located it's going to be a lot easier to get to pretty much anywhere on the map this one takes a long time to get from place to place i'm right next to a portal that one is it's fairly close yes but this one is also fairly close and i can get to pretty much anywhere on the map a lot easier and i think it's in a better location it doesn't have the healing pool but again i can always put in that kind of stuff because that would be a good thing to do so i think that's what i'm going to do is over time trend transfer everything to here get rid of this put in a regular throne once i get everything set up and i think that would be the best thing to do instead of having this be an outpost if i do make an outpost it's going to have to be a very very small structure roughly the size of where this is which is quite small so it will have to have the basic amenities like a forge a campfire a respawn stone and whatever we need to survive maybe like a few small chests and that's about it and that will have to be the outpost throne once i can find a place to you know have a good outpost i thought this was a good idea but i didn't realize it was going to be so limited in the size and scope that it was and this would be a really good place for a regular base anyway just because it is centrally located so that is my thought that's what i'm going to be working on in the meantime what i would like to do is go ahead and put in a door way over here and just continue working as if this is going to be our place so let's go ahead and go to b and let's go ahead and go to stone and let's put in a doorway so this will be the large door missing 25 water. So let's just go ahead and do that. Sweet. Now we have a large door. Awesome. Now as far as over here goes, I'm not too sure what I'm going to do there. Here, I'm probably just going to put a large door in there and let that be the main entrance right here. This would be the best, I think. And we'll probably go and do some more, you know attacking a cave or something like that but i'm just gonna put in a large door right here and that'll be pretty good i think i'm hoping that's gonna be and let's put in a wall so let's do that and then let's go ahead and see about putting in a big door there we go so now we have another door this will be our pretty much our main entrance, and I think that's going to work out really good. And then, like I said, I'll move the other throne over here, and then we'll have that outpost thrown somewhere else. As far as this goes over here, I know it's not going to work because those doors are too wide, as you can see here. Um, can I build some more walls? Let's go see. I do have quite a bit of stone, so let's just go ahead and plan on building these walls too high, and let's work on this. All right, I got it walled in, so now we have this. I have decided that I'm just going to put a small door in there, and then I'll have the two large doors on either side. I'm going to move the chest, like I said, to over here and have this be the chest area. And I don't know what I'm going to do there quite yet. And then I will have amenities and stuff along the wall. Probably put in some windows and different things like that. Alright, I do have a bit of iron ore that I can transfer into some ingots. So let's just go ahead and do that. Um, do that and then we'll make some enchanted stone and different things like that. That's going to take a few minutes to do and let me go see what it's going to take to put in a doorway just a regular doorway that is small door we need 30 wood we do have enough ingots all right let's go ahead and grab the 30 wood and we should be able to do that okay okay let's go ahead and put the small door right here in the middle this will be our door and then that way we can come in and out as we please Sweet. So now we have our doorway. Alright. That's going to work out pretty good, or so I hope. 
that is what I'm hoping. It's gonna be good. It's gonna have to be good because we kind of don't have a lot of extra choice in the matter. We are like 200 weight right now out of our 250. All right. What I would like to do is go and see. We did that. We know about Gort's Cavern now. And I don't know about Brink Break. I think that's going to be a dangerous cave. But maybe we could go and explore something like that. Go and do some damage in there. And hopefully be able to, you know, do some good things. We'll see how much we actually do get done. But at least we do have a better idea. And... For those of you out there, you now know that this outpost throne is just basically meant for a really, really small place. Like, pretty much this big. It's not going to have a lot of stuff in there. It's not supposed to have. It's not supposed to be your main base like this is going to kind of turn out to be. It's just supposed to be in an outpost where you would go to stay safe and you know forge a few items and different things like that so we got a lot of work ahead of us but that's okay we'll get done looks like these guys are going to be done here soon so we'll get those done and then we'll go and see about perhaps raiding a cave and we'll get up a cauldron and different things like that as soon as that gets done i will come back to you at that point all right we gotta go put stuff away if we're gonna go do anything let's just go and put it in here we can worry about this chest later i'm not gonna get too concerned about it for right now that will definitely help so we now have a better idea about a lot of things and that's gonna be pretty good to help us out or so i hope let's go ahead and let's get over to let's go into that cave right there it's gonna be a little bit to get over there and as soon as we get over there I'll talk to you up there and we'll see just how dangerous it's going to be or not be all right we are really close to that cave that one that we're going to the uh, whatever that is not the player marker brink break what I was thinking it was called, but I couldn't remember for sure, so... Met a dragon along the way, and he was an infernal dragon, which I don't know anything about, but he was big and bad and dangerous, and I tried to avoid him at all costs. Ah, brink break, huh? Oh, wonderful. You know what? This may have been the one that we were in. Um, we're gonna have to probably do that do it this way Oh boy Hi, buddy I think we found him I think this may have been the cave that we were actually in and not the other one But I don't know for sure because whoa I hear you I just don't see you. Okay, this is a bad, bad, bad place. Those guys are kind of tough. Definitely going to have to use some of this and probably even eat our last chili just to keep ourselves up. Um, what are we wearing as far as rings go? We are wearing... Okay, let's switch to that. We can always eat more food. That's not that big of a deal. And let's go and do that. That should help. Maybe, maybe... You won't take as much damage, huh? Or not?
was definitely worth a try. That's all I gotta say. It wasn't a very good try, but it was worth a try. Don't know where those guys are, but they seem to be s trying to get to us. And so far they're not doing the best job. Let's go ahead and have another one of these. And let's go see. Yikes. I think we made her mad. This may be the place that I was thinking of and not the other place, but I don't remember for sure. Let's go over here. And let's go see if we can target them from all the way over here. Well, yeah, look at that. If we can hit them from over here, I will be more than happy to do that. So let's just go and plan on doing this. Okay, we got one of them. That's good. Now let's get over there and let's loot his body. Okay, that's all right. So we can just continue hitting him. He'll be gone soon. And then we can get him too. Definitely going through a lot of mana. This is crazy. All right, he's gone. Man, this is tough. Hokey jamokies. Didn't know it was going to be quite this tough. The other one should still be up here somewhere, I think. Yes, there he is. Let's go ahead and battle this guy, huh? I just got another one. Oh boy, these guys are tough. I don't know if we're gonna be able to damage that guy or not. Now this is the place that we were definitely at, and I do remember that. Cause that guy could not hurt us at all. Okay. Good. Let's go ahead and use that and use that. We're going to have to. We don't have much choice. As far as I know, he's not going to be able to hurt us and we won't be able to hurt him. Because that just isn't going to be happening. So we are safe. And if I remember, yep, it's changing. So there's a cultist up here. 
Um, uh, we're gonna have to go see. Oh boy. Yikes. So there's another, so this was the cave that we were at. Got it. Good, maybe we can actually take out another one, huh? These guys are super tough, as you know. I'm going to continue working on this guy, and hopefully we can get some stuff done. So right now, from what I see, it looks like they have about 40,000 hit points. That's insane. Just having to kind of stay out of his way, because we're going through health potions like crazy. Taking him down pretty good, though. Keeps trying to hit us, but he can't quite get to us. So that's good that they're not coming out of here. Boy, this is tough. Let's take a sneak peek. Uh, 40,950. 40, and there's a lot left. Looks like he's almost gone. A few more points left. Let's go and do that. And we got him. 3,700 points. That's nuts. Okay, we'll just take all of that. And we have gone through so much stuff, it's ridiculous. We did get it quite a bit, but... Getting there is... Uh-oh. Where'd our friend go here? Yeah, that's what I thought. He's out, and that's not the best. Let's get rid of him. Okay, he's gone. Ooh wee These guys are tough. So this is the place that we were at before. And I thought it was the other place, but it was not. We are hurting, and we are low on stuff like crazy. All right. We're not doing bad now. Let's just get out of here, and let's get up on a safe place. Safer place oh man I mean we took those guys out didn't do a lot for helping us as far as that goes let's get out of here before we die well we're out of mana well, I'm going to use it, because I have to. Oh, boy. 
Well, this has been an exciting adventure. I do gotta say, didn't expect to end up at the place that we had a hard time at before, but there we are, so that was super exciting. Fallen Warrior. And those guys are full of points. Let's get out of here and let's go back. Whoa, we're gonna fall. Ouch. We don't have a lot of choice. Um, let's switch back to our ring. So that's about the only option we're going to have right now. This is a tough area. This is a very tough area. We're 600 meters away from our other base, our outpost, as it were. Oh, look at that. There's some bubbling stuff down there. How do you like that? That's awesome. I did not know that was like that. Let's just get down here. We gotta let this... respawn, or we're gonna be deeply sorry if we don't. And we gotta figure out a way around these guys. Let's get back to our place. I think we'd be best to do that. That way we're somewhat safe and... Oh boy, we didn't really get anywhere on levels or anything, but I don't think that was the whole point. We just needed to, you know, maybe take a break from building for a quick minute, and that place is so tough. I'll see you back at the base, or our outpost base. All right, we're just now getting back to our outpost. Oh, that was an adventure. That was scary. That was hard. I do gotta say. We got some good, pretty good stuff, but we didn't get near as much as what I was kind of hoping for, but that's okay. So I bet we could probably go over here and defeat this guy because he should be pretty easy and that'd be some good points for us. But for right now, I think I'm not going to worry about it. We do have a decent little place going here. I think this is going to be a little bit better than our other place. It is a little bit bigger. And I think nice chests all around here. I don't know what to do with this yet. This little nook right there. And I think a nice little work area here. And a throne back there with some windows or something. And a nice area to work with over here once we get our other thrown in and then we'll begin moving everything over I'll set up a whole bunch of chests and then we can begin doing it that way as well and that way this thing also will be good it's still not doing too bad and that's what I was hoping for and all these, I got it all these walls are doing good too and that's what I'm hoping for now these floors, they're not doing too bad, but I turned that down, as you know, so that did help out quite a bit. Well, we got our base mostly done with the walls at least, and we can begin working on the ceilings and all that stuff at a little bit later point in time. But at least you got to learn some things about these outposts and some of the other settings, and I think that's always important, you know, so that way you can learn things too, because we're all in this to learn things and do things and all that kind of stuff so thank you for joining me here this is citadel forged with fire it has been a lot of fun doing this and we plan on doing quite a bit more because i want to get to level 60 and at least go into the new area and see what the heck may be over there i really don't know we also need to build campfires and do some other things in here so we'll work on that next time you have a good day and we will talk to you later Bye-bye.